As for Minnesota, there were 817 new coronavirus cases today and five new deaths. And as the pandemic continues on both sides of the border, KBJR6's Leanne Valdez shows us a new tool that fits in the palm of your hand meant to help make important travel decisions. The leaves are changing, which often means a planned road trip up the North Shore. We are seeing more uh, people coming up to the northeast part of Minnesota. And as COVID-19 cases continue to rise in St. Louis County. Increased long-term care facility outbreaks more in the northern part of the county. And we're continuing to see the 20 to 24 year old population being a large percentage of our cases, especially in the southern part of our county. Public Health Director Amy Westbrook is still advising people not to travel. Right, sure, we do want people to be really cognizant of travel and as much as possible, stay close to home. Westbrook knows the reality of it, which is why she says Google's new tool may be something to look into. It's a nice feature. Google introduced the COVID layer in maps late last week. The tool gives you information about coronavirus cases in an area so you can make a more informed decision about where to go and what to do, according to their blog post. You can zoom out and zoom in, which is a nice feature. Uh, it is by counties. It also shows you a seven day average of new COVID-19 cases per 100,000 people. Each part of the map is color coded, indicating whether the cases are going up or down. Among other colors, dark orange means 20 to 30 cases, red 30 to 40 cases, dark red 40 plus cases. Westbrook says it's a smart tool to have, but back to the basics is best. We still really want to see people um, wearing face coverings and social distancing. And if you want more information about how this app works, just head to KBJR6.com.